this video, we're going to talk about images and URL binding. Now, if you've been following along in my videos and you want to give this a try on your own, I'll give you a little hint. Images and URL links work very, very similarly to CSS style and class. So if you want to pause the video and give this a try on your own, now's a great time. But let's go ahead and dive into binding images and binding URLs. Let me open up VS Code. And I'm going to open up my project in the browser. We'll open up All right, so here we go. Let's go with URL binding first for links. So right now we're including a link right here inside of this block or this card. I wanna take this link out and I wanna make this whole block clickable. So like I said earlier, if you've been following along, URLs work very, very similarly to the way we did CSS binding with style and class. So what I'm gonna do is right up here, I'm gonna put a, a link. So we'll do a href equals, and then we need to put it down here as well. We're gonna close off our link, and then let's just tab this over. So we should be able to do a colon, and then provide the cat object with link. So let's give this a try. Cat dot link. Okay. And as of right now, if I hover over any of these, when you hover over a link, it usually will pop up and show you where you're about to go. So I'm going to press save and we can see all the CSS styling over here has changed. Every single piece of text in this is now clickable. The entire box is clickable. And if you look right down here, when I hover over, we're getting localhost 8080 slash cats. All right, so we don't want it to be localhost 8080. Now, there's a really easy way to fix this. If we go back over to our app.view, and in this instance, we can control the URLs we're going to. All you have to do is prepend the HTTP colon slash slash, and we'll save that. I'm going to add that to this one. I'll add that to this one and we'll add it right here. Command S to save. We can see our links have changed and updated. And let's hover over this time. Perfect. Now if we look right down here in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to cats.com, cats.com, biggercats.com, and biggestcats.com. Let's change this one because this one should say bigcats.com. All right, there we go. And we can see that it updated. Cool. So right now let's look at our cat card and you can see we're using the A for a link and href we're binding to cat.link. So that was pretty easy. Let's move on and I want to include a, you know what? I want to remove the underscore and blue for all of these so that it doesn't make the text itself change. We scroll down here. Let's scroll down here in our cat card. And actually we'll just do A and we'll do text. And we should have decoration and we're just gonna say none. We'll save that. It has removed the underlines. So now when we hover over the one isn't underlined, the URL isn't underlined. And I'm gonna change the text as well. Let's go ahead and we'll just do link color of white. Cool. So there we go. Moving along, let's go ahead and I want to see how image binding works. I want to go ahead and put an image in each one of these cards of a different cat. So let's get rid of we don't really need the id we were just using that for example and we don't really need the link now that we're linking the card so let's put a img src equals to include a link now as of right now 
we don't have any images from our cat list. So if we want to be able to use our cat object in an image, we're going to have to add images to each one of our cats in the list. So let's do that. I'm going to put a comma and then image and we'll, we'll steal some images in a second. Let's just update all these. All right, now each one contains a property of image, but we want to go ahead and let's grab a link or a URL to put in here that points to an image. I'm just going to use google.com and I'm just going to steal a couple images off of Google and we'll say cat images, we'll do square cat images. This way there's less CSS for us to do. We just want square pictures of cats. We'll copy that. Actually, we want to um, we want to copy the image address. So that'll take us right to the image. So we'll paste that there. And then let's find another image of a cat. Uh, this one looks good. We'll copy image address. We'll paste that in there. We'll use this guy. He's not square. Let's find a square one. <clears throat> oh, let's go with this one. Copy image address. We'll paste that in. And one last picture of a cat. All right. Copy image. Oh. Copy image address. And then we'll paste that in. Now we'll have, if we look at the end of each of these, this is a JPEG, this is a JPEG. This one, it looks like I probably copied the wrong URL. Let's copy this out and take a look. All right, so this is coming from Reddit, and we're gonna use a different one that actually has a image extension, .jpeg, .png. Um, let's take a look. We'll try this guy. Copy image address, and we'll put him right in here. Cool. All right, so we have four images for our four cat cards. I'm gonna save this and I can close out of these. And let's go ahead and try and attach these images to our cat card. So we have IMG SRC and we wanna bind it. And we know the shorthand syntax for binding is to use the colon. We also know that there's a link inside of our cat object now. If we do cat dot there's a link to an image. So this should put an image of a cat. Now all of these images are different shapes, different sizes. We tried to grab square images of cats, but I didn't double check everything. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put a class of cat image so that these images aren't huge or way bigger than our box. So let's jump down here and we'll do a class of cat image and we just want to say we wanted them all to be square so let's just give a width of 100 pixels and let's do a height of 100 pixels and let's save man s to save and it didn't refresh automatically I'm gonna come over here cool so we're getting our cat pictures now now we only put the IMG um, S no, we only put the IMG SRC with the cat inside. We're doing we're looking for cats that are visible, cat objects that are visible. So that's why we're not seeing it over here or right here. We can copy that out and we can put that in our V else if, and then we can also actually let's not do it here because it's saying this cat isn't available at all. So if we save, now you can see we're able to bind images 
to our cat object. If we hover over top, we get our URLs down here in the corner, and we get our images. It's pretty cool. Most of the time when I'm working in Vue.js, I'm working with some type of API. I'm saying, go ahead and grab me this list of cats. And that's why we went and we're returning a list. And this is kind of similar to what an API return would look like. Um, they might have more information. There might be nested objects in here. But I'm using this way to show you so that you can see how to grab these URLs and links and bind them to what you need them for. If we wanted to take a look real quick, there's also assets. So right here in our assets folder, we have logo. We didn't set this up, Vue.js set this up for us. So let's just take a quick dive and maybe for some reason, you're not pulling images from an API request and maybe you have images yourself. Maybe all these cat images are right here in your assets folder. So let's just take a quick peek and see if for some reason you're not getting your images from an API request, you would put them right here in your assets folder. Let's just take a look and see how Vue set this up. So right here at the top of our app.view file, we have image, IMG, alt, view logo, and then we have our SRC. Now right now, in front of our SRC, we're not binding, we don't have the colon there. It's just SRC, so it's gonna take whatever's inside of our double quotations right here, and it's gonna use that for our image. Now we can see, to access anything inside of our assets, right here, our logo is actually inside of SRC, assets, and then it's the logo. But you don't have to include the SRC they're just using a dot slash assets slash logo. Let's go ahead and what happens if we get rid of the dot? We broke our logo. What happens if we get rid of the slash? We broke our logo. What happens if we add a tilde? We broke our whole application. Let's put a slash back in, save. We broke it. So the way you're gonna access anything inside of your assets when up here, you're gonna use period, slash, and then assets. And that will load any images inside of your assets folder. I'm gonna wrap that up for today, guys. And thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications. And we're gonna keep expanding on these Vue.js tutorials. So keep an eye out and I'll see you in the next one.